Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over the advantages of trees. Now we all know you can hide units within the trees to sneak up on your enemy's flanks, but there are two other big advantages. Trees provide cover from projectiles, meaning any type of artillery or missile fire can be blocked by trees. This tactic is very helpful in evening out the playing field when your enemy has superior ranged firepower. As you can see from our test runs, the units firing from within the trees are taking less damage and in turn win the one-on-one -on -one engagement. Just as a base, you can see when the two dark shards face off on equal playing fields, they'll win about 50% of the time. Now we're going to run the same tests, but this time it will be artillery versus a unit of dread spears. Three runs of artillery firing into dread spears within the tree line, and three runs of artillery firing into dread spears in an open field. As you can see, after averaging the three runs for each scenario, we see that the artillery takes significantly longer to route the units hidden within the trees compared to those out in the open fields. This is mainly attributed to the artillery projectiles colliding with the trees and completely negating their damage. It should be noted that the effects of hiding in the trees depends on the forest density. The larger the trees, the higher the chance is for the projectiles to collide with the trees instead of your units. The second advantage from trees is large units having reduced melee stats when fighting within the trees. For this comparison, we'll be doing our standard 3-run tests for trees and no tree advantages. We'll be using Ushapti and Dread Spears. Both of these units should have no outside buffs, as both need to hit a certain threshold in order to get their faction battle buffs. As you can see, our Dread Spears in the trees lasted longer against the Ushabti, allowing them to do way more damage on average than the Dread Spears that were out in the open. From now on, hopefully you'll be using every force to your advantage whenever the enemy has range superiority or has an obnoxious amount of large units. Hopefully this will help you turn the tides of the battle into your favor. That's all we have for today. If you have any critiques on how I do my testing, please leave a comment below highlighting your suggested methods. If you found the video helpful, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already.